Hey guys, I'm back, and today I'm gonna do set this up right now. And as you can tell, my my Canon DSLRs SD card ran out of space. And this, my phone, my Samsung Galaxy Note 9, is also starting to run out of space. So now I have I have to shoot with this camera, which is the closest I have to an actual camera, which is our family camera, and it is the. Samsung WB30F. Yeah. Yeah, but on the plus side though, you can get some good you can get some good comparisons on like a DSLR, uh like a budget point and shoot camera, a smart a regular smartphone, and note that this is not on the default the default well, recording quality. I had changed that. And you'll also be able to see it on here. And which is like a mid-range to high-end point-and-shoot camera. And by the way, this has a fixed flash right there, and it's not a pop-out one. And, but pretty cool still. <clears throat> Alright, so I ran out of space out of my DSLR, and this has only four, about two minutes of recording time left before it runs out of space to take for this video. So let's just... So, but this, I have 20 minutes of recording time. Alright, now with that out of the way, we can get started. Sorry if I was off topic a bit. Alright, so to start off, I let this charge for a little bit. And now I'm gonna let it power on. Let me adjust the camera a bit. That's better. Alright, let's power it on. Perfect. Let's start off by setting up the language. English. Let's set the clock. It is September. It is September 8th. September 8th, and it's 2019. In the meantime, I want the timing to be perfect, so the second it turns on to the next time, I want to... So the second it turns to the next minute, I want it to want to activate it. Hmm, I think I like this one best. I I was off. Sorry, I'm gonna change it to the 17. Now I'm gonna wait till. <coughs> Until it turns to 9.17, and in the meantime, just saying, but I'm going to use this mainly for YouTube videos, so, with that in mind, it can take up, space can be taken up quite quick, especially when you're taking videos, so, I, so I recommend getting a high amount of SD card space for your camera, I got a 64 gig right here, I purchased while I was at the camera store, well, and, and there you go. Hold on. And also, I also mainly bought this so I could use, I could take photos and videos without wasting storage on my phone, which is right here. Okay, this is taking a little while. Uh, perfect. Awesome. Reset the home area. Well, the, from, from where, I, where I live, the nearest major city is Chicago, so let's set it to this setting. There's no memory card, so now let's get that in. Hold on. I'm going to do that really quickly. See you in a bit. <clears throat> Alright, I'm back, and as you can see, I got the SD card. It is a rugged one, and it came in this little carrying case. I'll just put it like that for now. So... 
Hold on, am I opening it correctly? Oh, you take... No, I'm not. So you take that off right here, and you open it like this. And now you just take it out of the case, if I can even do that right now. Here we go. As you can see, it's a 64 gig card. Rugged. All right now, let's insert it into the to the camera now. I want to make sure I'm inserting this the correct way. And hopefully I am. Alright, looks like we just did. Sorry about that. It looks like... There we go. I'm going to install the arm slash wrist strap a little later. Now we got the SD card in. Let's power it on and see what happens. And we got no... It, <clears throat> no missing SD card indication now. So let's play with the buttons a bit. I like to start off, that's focus. And then focus mode, AF, AF macro, macro, and then MF. And then let's go back. Oh, that acts as some stand, some settings like stand. I think that's. Alright, so here's like some information like, sorry if the, it, it doesn't look so good on the camera. And so we got like aspect ratio, picture size, quality, AFS, AFF, AFC stuff, sensi sensitivity right there. And then white balance, AF mode, photo style, filter settings, metering mode, eye dynamic, Eye resolution, flash adjust, red eye removal, ISO auto upper limit, and we got a bunch of other modes on here as you can tell. Like I said before, sorry you, sorry if the video quality right now doesn't look very good. Like I said before, I'm shooting on a like a budget point and shoot. All right, let's go back. And it looks like you can control what you want for now let's what flash you want let's auto red eye auto with red eye force flash first on with red eye slow sync slow sync with slow sync with red eye right, so you got quite a bit of options right here but for now let's just turn off the flash entirely all right <clears throat> And as you can see, this has a 30 times optical zoom. Looks like that's the farthest I can go. And looks like this is the... Yes, you can use this in case you get lost on, the, on a subject while zooming. Now let's bring it back to its default position though, and let's take its first photo. Here's the lip screen like I was talking about earlier. Let's point it at me. Alright, I'm just going to take it like this, so 3, 2, 1. Alright, looked like I had the self timer on, so let's see really quickly. Alright. So here's where I can control the video quality. Apparently I can't 
I'm not sure if I can turn off the self timer or not, or if that's just like a default feature, or if you point it the other way, it turns on the timer. Let's take a photo of something else right now, though, but like this box. Alright, three, two, one. Oh, that's pretty good. I will probably put this in, put the foes in the video itself, but it looks pretty good in person. Alright. No, I don't want to delete. Alright, so, I got that, so we got the photo test done. I'm going to probably shoot some more photos and for a uh, test, and then I'll come back in a bit. See you then. And now, in this case, what will be the most important test of them all, a video test. Let's start a recording, and here we go. And here we go. Hey guys, this is a test of the Panasonic Lumix ZS80, a video test to be specific. So here's my tripod, my ball chair, and here's my little setup over here. Let's turn this off though. Oh wait, that's a that starts a video. Oh it's recording. Oh dear. Here's the power button. Alright, so So it looks like I got a pretty good hold of the camera. It feels pretty comfortable on one hand. It does come with a viewfinder. Yeah, that's quite nice, especially if you're into DSLRs like I am. Here's my Canon EOS Red LSO1. Mm -hmm. Here's some of the packaging from the accessories. Some power cords, a mouse, my phone, the box this camera came in. A little carrying case for my SD card I got for my camera. Sorry about that. And here's my laptop, an HP NV at, an, an HP NV X360. And I have some old camera boxes in here. These, I actually, these are actually have the cameras themselves in it. So, um, this, these are in perfect, if not almost perfect condition. Uh, Brownie Twin 20 and an Olympus D560 Zoom. Pretty cool, eh? Alright, so I got <clears throat> this little lamp right here, some pencils over here, and some writing, more writing utensils. This makes a, quite a nice homework space for me. <clears throat> Got some old phones, a Blackberry, and this HTC Windows phone. And over here I got some print a printer and some looks what it looks like already used paper. Over here I have some coloring pencils, markers, and pencil pouches. I have like a some pencil holders, a pencil sharpener, and a pair of scissors. Okay, there we go. I have this ball, toy ball I like to play with. I really like to pick and bounce it like this quite a bit around the house. <clears throat> Over here is my model airport display. This is a Google Home that I have over here for some reason. Let's test out the zoom. Alright, as you as I've already mentioned before, I will mostly be using this as my my pro dominant YouTube camera, and then I will mainly on the go. Actually, I'll use my Canon SO1 as my YouTube camera for at home, and I'll use my new Panasonic Lumix when I'm on the go, and then I have. My phone that I can always use also too in case this camera should fail like if it runs out of battery or storage 
<clears throat> here's some golf clubs I have. I do golf. And here's just a random shelf I have. And there's a coat rack. Okay. So, now I'm going to flip over the screen really quickly. And now, let's take a look at me. Awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> So if you're into like if you're into or interested in vlogging, especially because this comes with a with a three inch flip screen and a and up to 4K recording quality, this could make a good vlogging camera if you're into that, or if you just simply want a good camera to record yourself on like this. And also, in addition, this is touch screen, so that's going to be quite useful. And it has a viewfinder, if you're into that. Uh, that's quite nice, especially if you want to get on some good detail and see what you're doing without any distraction. Like I said before, this is pretty comfortable to hold, and it can easily fit into a pocket when not in use. Alright, so, this concludes this video test of my new camera. See you later. Goodbye. Alright, and for the heck of it, I wanted to see how good this flash is on the camera right here, so... Apparently, this is the darkest room in the house that I can think of when the lights aren't on, so we're just gonna test it in here for now. See you then. Alright, I did get to see a preview of it, however, I'm going to have to see what it looks like for myself on my computer, so we're going to do that really quickly soon. Alright, so, as you can tell, it's the next day again, and I like this camera quite well. I think it makes a good camera, and I have it on the default recording setting right now. So I'm pretty sure this is not the 4K setting. I will probably have to maybe do a test of that later. However, like I said before, this will be my mainly my primary YouTube camera. I do like it mainly because of its compact design and the fact that it has a flip screen so I can easily see so I don't have to connect to my TV, which is over here, and so I don't have to guess that the framing and looks of me aren't good. So I think this should be pretty good. I think it'll make a good camera. Also, I really got this so I can take photos and videos without wasting storage on my phone, which is already starting to run out of space. Alright, and now, with all of that out of the way, this concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Likes and subscriptions are appreciated, and I will see you on the next video. Goodbye!